Hey guys, welcome to another tool tutorial. Today we'll be going over the axis tool. So axis tool creates a uh, rotating joint. You take your axis, you left click on the object you want to start with, left click on the object you'd like to attach to, where you'd like to attach it. And now what you'll notice is this can now rotate freely. Now it spins. Now there's a few things you can play around with. The first of them being the force limit. Now if the force limit is set to zero, this will not break. So no matter what I do, it won't break. However, if I set the force limit to some value and place it down again, I can pull this off if I apply enough force to it. So we'll leave that to zero. Torque limit, that's the same as the force limit essentially. As it states, the constraint will break if the amount of torque force is greater than this. So this is probably something you're not going to use because you don't want your joints to break. The friction is quite simple. It's simply the resistance this has when it's rotating. So if there's a high friction, it's not going to spin freely. If there's a low friction, it will spin a lot more freely. And um, the no collide. The no collide is simple. If you use no collide, let's just set the friction to zero. With the no collide set on, if we leave the no collide on, these can pass through each other. So there might be a, an application where you'd need this. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.